You like the animation already? All right, Circus Electric. Continue. I've totally read it. All right, uh, settings. English, skip all instructions. Imagine playing a brand new game. Yeah, I'm gonna skip it. Uh, oh, I can play by controller. Oh, I like that. Invert coin flick controls. Music filter, old record, 19th century. Okay, so what does this do if I change these? What? What? <laughs> it just removes it completely. Okay. Interesting. Um, let's tone down the sound effects, music a little bit, voice volume. I guess we can keep up. Yeah. This interface has all the feeling of the last game. Are they related at all? No, they're not related. Nope. Quality high, V-Sync. Okay. Filmic post effects. So you can get rid of that. You can get rid of that, like, film grain post effect, which I think we will. Yeah. Uh, codex. Credits. Quit the desktop. All right. Yeah, if anybody played Operencia, these are the same devs as Operencia. Fantasy RPG. Definitely recommend checking that out if you haven't played it. You like turn-based fantasy RPGs. Very different type of game. Uh, but it's called Operencia. Um... But these devs, uh, this is their latest game. You remember that game? Thirty something. Yeah, it was awesome. I love that game. You think you've heard of this one? You probably heard it from me talking about it, Rabbit. All right, so uh, choose difficulty. Doorkeeper, easy. Artist, normal. Ringmaster, hard. All right, let's start at normal and begin. Let's go to the circus. Somebody's tearing down our poor. I our... promised myself I would never see him again. Ten years is far too soon after what he did. Yet here I am, reporting on the least important story for tomorrow's paper. The grand reopening of his Circus Electric. He hasn't lost his charisma. I'll give him that. Or his mustache. Always giving them something new, something bigger. The pillar of power! Something more. Dangerous. I've seen these two before. That's their happy face. <laughs> Maybe they'll arrest Uncle. That'd be a story I could get behind. That's impressive. What are they doing? Die! What? Oh, it's like. Die! Die! Execute Order 66. Then I hear him. Grok! Bolthy, save my niece. What this? All right. Fight. Bring these bothersome bobbies to their knees. Bothersome bobbies? All right, using skills. Overcome your opponents in battle with skills. Each character can use one skill every turn. Okay, there's a lot of information suddenly on the screen. Holy crap. I'm gonna move myself over. Wow! Whoa, whoa! Jesus Christmas, I hate when that happens. Okay. Um, okay, so Grok is a level one clown. Forty percent devotion, eighty seven health. He's got a skill ball throw. Um, I don't have items, I guess. One skill. And, uh, yeah. 
You know what? I think I'm gonna move myself again. Oh boy! Oh, Nilly. Maybe I'll just be small. Should I be small bog? Alright, we'll be over here. I'll be over here if you need me, okay? Um, and this is our target, I guess. Yeah, Bobby. All right, this is the turn order on the top. All right, I like, I like. Characters, okay, we have a lot of info here. Lots of stuff. Okay. We're going to do a ball throw. It's a water attack. All right, this is very darkest dungeon in terms of the pips there. Shows you which position you can use them and which targets you can uh, hit with it. So let's go and... Uh, I guess we'll hit the back guy. Coming at ya. <laughs> I do believe your rubber ball cracked his rib. <laughs> Jolly good and show. Then he missed. Bob. Yeah. Shoot. Places, people. Positioning matters. Uh, yeah. Circus theme, turn-based combat. Yep. So you've teamed up with the Bobbies? No, we're fighting the Bobbies, I think. For people who hate clowns, this game's a nightmare or an affirmation. True. Okay, certain skills can only be used in certain positions and against cer certain specific target slots. Both are indicated in the skills description. You can also manually move teammates frontward or, f uh, or further back during combat. Okay. So, for example, this, if it was this skill, you could only use it if you're in the back two rows. And this tells you your targets. The front two. Balthazar's skill called Front Blow would be useful here. However, Front Blow is only available for use in the first position. Move Balthazar forward to use Front Blow for his next turn. Balthazar, don't attack. Just move forward. All right. Trust me. That takes his turn, though. Okay. Yeah, we get to be carnies in this game. I think there's a lot of characters you can unlock, too. Not only can Croc use ball throw in any position, it's also effective against all enemies wherever they're placed. How convenient! Alright, so it deals damage, decreases their devotion, and 60% chance to move the target to the last slot. Alright, let's do ball throw again on the guy in the back. He's lefty, I like that. Oh good, they suck. Now, they're, they're worse for me. Show me that front blow, comrade. Show me the front blow. Hey, this is a family show. Front blow. Thirty-one to thirty-eight damage. All right. Well, I guess we should. We'll take one of them out. <laughs> Clap them. Turn three. Each character acts once in their turn in an order determined by the value of their initiative attribute. All right. I will throw a ball. <laughs> yeah, that was yesterday's game, Rabbit. We posted it on TikTok, by the way. Go follow on TikTok. Front blow. All right, front blow is pretty good. Random lion shows up. Hey, I, I am the lion. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Yeah. All right, there we go. Hi, babe. All right, so what did we get? We got shillings, food, and circus fame. <laughs> A rather eventful reunion after ten years, was it not, Denise? She's like, yeah, I have a, I have a lion now. Saving lives isn't really your style, Uncle. But thank you, Leonidas. <laughs> I see your mother's lion remains as spirited as ever. Yes, and just as blind. No thanks to you. You blinded the lion. Now, if you'll excuse me. I have some facts to gather. 
Ah, for your circus story. Of course. Huh? What happened? Uh, did you look out this door? Huh? Did you look out this front door? No. What is that? And they're all wet? Sorry. Dear God, no. I need to understand what the hell just happened here. That's the new story. That's the new story. Come, let's find Dr. Mabry. He hid once this maddening took hold, but... But he's a brilliant man with brilliant thoughts. Unlike certain present company. <laughs> I'll not have you speak of Grok in that way. Or growl, as it were. Good old Grok. Comb combatants with low devotion are prone to fleeing from battle. Okay, so that's what that does. Pointing right at my head. Don't point at my head. Where is Dr. Mabry? We've looked everywhere. Not quite everywhere. All right. Circus upgrade. Circus expansion train is unlocked. Character unlocked. Fire blower performers may appear in the train to be recruited. Okay, cool. Hi. Hold on one sec. Sorry, we had a, uh, so we're, we're going to be kicking off a cookie delivering business in the next month or so. We had tons of package materials delivered today in the pouring rain. So, um, one sec. All right. Sorry. Here we go. I, I, I don't love where I'm that I'm floating up here. It's like during the combat, it makes sense, but otherwise, uh, I don't like floating. He's a floater! So, I guess we'll go down here. And we'll just live, live with me blocking a little bit. Okay. So my god, Cookie, shut up and take my money. Not yet, but soon. Soon. You'll have all the info. All right, here we go. Recruit performers aboard the train. Recruit a fire blower. No Dr. Mabry in here, but I do believe I spot some new talent. Bertha. So it costs 10 shillings, I think, to recruit. My shillings, I have 10. Yeah. So there we go. Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. hey, 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 Thank you. Thank you very much. I think that's going to kick off our first giveaway. Thank you, Gardener Girl. Uh, gang, get your uh, clams ready. We're going to do a Spark Vault Key plus Game Vault game giveaway. 
very soon. If you don't know what a Spark Vault key is, type exclamation point Spark, read the link, or click the link, and then read what's at the link. All right, we're gonna hire Bertha here. Can I name my people? Crazed Bobby, coming right for us. Crazed Bobby. Tell me, Bertha the Fireblower, you any good in a fight? A uh, fight, sir? Oh, he brought a mime. What? Sign performers next to their preferred companions for better circus show chemistry. Devotion largely determines the character's effectiveness in battle. Higher devotion bars may lead to higher damage and chance to hit. Oh, nice. All right, the uh, the raffle is open. One clam to enter, max of a thousand. Winner gets a game vault game and a spark vault key. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. I wonder if we're going to get a chance to rename these people and we can name them after uh, folks on the stream. I want to do that. It's a character sheet. So she's a clown and a strongman? Or no, is that... Oh, I guess we'll learn that as we go. All right, so she's got fire, bl uh, fire blow, which she can do from the third rank and hit... Oh, it hits everybody. Does eight to nine damage, 45% chance to break the target stance. All right, let's do it. Yes, yes, Bertha. Her very name puts the breath in fire breathing. Certain skills, well, uh, use certain skills within a battle can instantly increase or decrease the devotion of targets. Use trumpet boost to temporarily increase all team members' devotion. Okay. So Gronk is like a, uh, it's like a bard. Trumpeting Brock. Everyone's increased devotion inspires us all. All right, good. Yeah. Ow. Devotion may have two different values. The base value affects the character's effectiveness, while the temporary value only lasts for a few rounds in battle. Okay. I don't think that tooltip was required. All right, we got two. Uh, we got spine breaker and front blow. 30% chance to remove all positive effects. All right, let's try Spinebreaker. On the mime. All in the race. You missed your Spinebreaker. Okay, they missed too. That's good. Like your own performance, reducing opponent's devotion may lessen their effectiveness. If the devotion of an opponent or player drops to zero, they will flee the battle. Okay, this guy's at 10%. 10%! What I think I'm going to do is... I know I keep moving myself. I think I'm going to move here because that doesn't seem to be much use. You can now see the targets of my attacks. And uh, I think this is a good spot for me. All right. That mime over there doesn't seem to be too devoted. Let's try to scare him. Use Fire Throw to chase him out of the battle. Fire Throw deals a little bit of damage, decreases devotion by 10%. Let's do that. There we go. Goodbye. Bertha, worth all 10 shillings for sure. Maybe uh, even 11. The clown no, can taunt. Just 10. Oh, a clown carry can heal too. Wow. <laughs> Did my spine breaker miss because he's spineless? I think you're right. Clap. Delicious. I don't, know. I don't know. All right, so we got food, tools, and circus fame. Closing the raffle one minute, gang. One clam to enter max of a thousand. Is 
Is this fighting normal for you, Ringmaster? Only very recently. You just endangered this poor girl's life. Bertha, are you hurt? Oh, maybe you can't change their name because they have voice acting around it. A scratch or two. Nothing a night in the sleeping cart won't heal. Sleeping cart unlocked. Injured performers can relax in the sleeping cart, but they cannot participate in anything else in the meantime. Visit the sleeping cart. Must recover. Yvonne. Yvonne, so lovely to see you. Banged up as you may be from surviving out there. Uh, perhaps the sleeping cart should be yours for the evening. Okay. Anki is the winner. Congratulations. <laughs> Send me what game from the vault you would like. And uh, how many spark vault keys is that now for Anki? Congrats. All right, let Avon rest in the sleeping cart for the evening. It costs one meat. A single medical care slot is available. Assigned performer regenerates 40% and gains 4% devotion at the end of the day. Maximum capacity, eight beds. All right, right now, I only have one bed, I think. It takes time to heal. Let her rest until tomorrow. Okay. Oh, and here comes Dr. Mabry. Save me from these relentless brigands! 1.21 gigawatts! More of these fop doodles? Oh, bugger. Fop doodles? I like that. Roar. Only one more to go. Yeah, only one more to go, Ungi. You're coming for Sparkwood? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Alright, we got a new fight. Although Devotion can increase some skills damage and chance to hit, Devotion does not affect every skill. Skills affected by Devotion are highlighted with an electric offend, uh, effect around their icons. Ah, okay. The positive or negative effect of Devotion is highlighted in parentheses within each skill. Description. Okay, so the plus three is from Devotion. Okay. So these are both affected by it. So that's eight to nine. We can make this guy flee. Do, 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 do. I wonder if I should taunt. Moose forward two slots. Let's see what this looks like. He defended it. Nice. Spine breaker. All in the race. He goes flying. Oh, I can't do the devotion attack. Why is that? Oh, oh, it doesn't work on the guy in the front row. Okay. God. If you had five keys, you'd probably be kind to Sparkwood and maybe get this game. You're too kind. Here, catch! <laughs> Fop Doodle sounded like something else. I'm just reading what's on the screen, everybody. I'm just reading what's on the screen. Um, meat, shillings, and circus. Eighteen eighty nine was a big year. The in show death of Chandra the Lion Tamer in spring is that is that going to be her mom? Followed by the shuttering of the Circus Electric by early summer and the founding of Steam that fall.
days since the maddening. Days always end after battles, with circus results and character statuses reported from there. Okay. Yvonne, new performer, has joined the Circus Electric. Effects from buildings are realized the following day. Yvonne was healed after a night in the sleeping cart and is ready to join the exploration team. You want my opinion on this, don't you, Amelia? Yes. Yes, we do. The pillar of power you designed was lit. Exactly then, everything around us went to hell. You, uh, you should see what happened to the London Bridge. The London Bridge? Has it fallen down, my fair Maybury? My fair Maybury. Or worse, it, it disappeared. My drones confirm it. Vanished. Underdark, so this is something like Darkest Dungeon? You know what? I'm getting a strong Darkest Dungeon vibe from it. I am. But more, more story. Yeah. Vanished? How? I, I can get you there to see for yourself with a map. I just need, just need time. May I bring it to you shortly? All things come shortly from you, Ollie. Join us at the circus tent when you can. That's where she'll be with me watching how I plan my shows. What? You don't want to recruit more talent at the train first? I do. A marvelous suggestion, Amy. First the train, then the circus tent. Don't call me Amy. My name's Emilia. Recruit three new performers. What? Pablo! Okay, we got Caesar. He's got pipe bending. Maria is another fire spitter, and Pablo is another clown. All right, Pablo the clown, Maria the fire spitter, and Caesar the strong man. Is that what he is? I got them all. Circus upgrade. Escape artist performers may appear in the train to be recruited. Circus tent is unlocked. New circus show draft available. Okay, village roadshow. Okay, all right. Set up your first show in the circus tent. And this is how it's done. Select the village roadshow draft as a first step. You will get more drafts later. The next step is preparing for a circus show is to select the appropriate performers. Every performer has, perform has a preferred performance type, but many are also particular about with whom they would like to work with. The more attention you pay to the chemistry of your performers, the more successful your shows will be. This is interesting. Look here to see which performance type the character prefers. The chemistry bar charges at a much lower rate if the icon on a performer card does not match its assignment on the table. Okay, so a main vent is an up arrow, an opening act is a left arrow, and a supporting act is a down arrow. The green icon here indicates the performer enjoys working with specified character class. The red icon indicates the opposite. To the left, the character's own class is highlighted. Okay, those are very small, but all right, there we go. So, does not he does not like trumpets? Does like fire? Okay, set up your first show. Get two stars on the chemistry bar. Okay, so let's see who likes working with who. Doom, boom, boom, boom. Now, are they all the same in the class? No, they all are different. Okay, so he doesn't like fire people. So let's just... Oh, these guys I can't use. I have to use just these three. All right, main event. The 
The line connecting the two characters show effectively they work together based on the chemistry icons. Green is a strong relationship, red is the opposite. Character compatibility is displayed in the chemistry bar with higher ratings earning more stars. The more stars you uh, accumulate, the more rewards you can earn from performances. Hmm. Hit the next button if you're satisfied with the performer setup. Looks pretty good to me. Two performance stars, all right. Fun. Thrill. Laughing and amazement. All right, here we go. Here you can distribute the stars you earned in the previous step to be, uh, best yield benefits for your next performance. Dis distribute your stars without exceeding the potential value of a draft in any category. Once you have distributed all the stars available, hit the announce button. The event will be held later today and the next day's newspaper will report the results. Since they're busy with the show, selected performers can't be used for anything else the rest of the day. Okay, so you put some people in here to perform, some people go out on an adventure. Ah, okay. Set up your first show. Um, what am I doing? I gotta spend these two stars on audience, entertainment, or complexity. And right now I can't do anything but this. Okay, so we're, predict we're, pre we're predicting 9 to 11 revenue from the show. Some loot and no experience. Fine, 